Hi, this week we are going to talk about one of the most important elements of art, the element that we use to draw and create artwork and what we probably couldn't do without to create artwork and that is lines. And there are basically five types of lines. A horizontal line is the line that goes back and forth or if you wanted to look on a map, if you were looking on a map east and west, back and forth. The vertical line, those go straight up and down. Straight up and down, some are long, some are short. You can do dotted lines, but those go straight up and down. The diagonal lines can go, and these, these straight up and down, they can, you could say they go north and south, and these are east and west, north and south, or straight up and down. And then the diagonal lines, they're slanted, and there's a lot of different ones of these. They don't just go one way. They go lots of different ways. So the diagonal lines are slanty, and they go, and again, they can go lots of different ways. But once they get flat, straight, that they're now called vertical. But if they go straight up and down, obviously they're, if they go back and forth, they're horizontal. If they go straight up and down, they're vertical. The curvy lines it, are made like this, and they do what the, word says they curve and they can they can do spirally curves they can make loopy curves so all those are curved lines and the zigzag lines are made up of some of the directionals so those can go lots of different ways with the with the um, straight lines um, could you do diagonal curvy lines? Yes, you could. You could do di di diagonal curvy lines. You could do diagonal curvy zigzag lines. Yes, you could do curvy zigzag lines. Curvy zigzag lines. Okay, so, but basically there's five types of lines. So, we're going to use those five types of lines in our lesson. We're going to create a line chart. And we're going to use that line chart for other lessons down the road. Like next week, we'll use that line chart to do our first piece of artwork. So this is what it will look like. Right here. Okay. Let's, let's make that. Okay. So this is our goal. This is what it should look like. So you're basically creating big shapes to fill in with different types of lines. So you're using your lines to create big shapes, and then you're filling in those shapes with lines. So the whole thing is made with lines. And if you'll notice, some of these have uh, are also patterns. Like this is a pattern here. So you can use lines to create patterns too. So those look really cool. And this creates a nice piece of artwork just making a chart. So let's get started. I'm going to put this up here so you can see the different lines as we create. So get a marker, a crayon, either one, and we're going to do an experiment first. We're going to take our marker and we're going to place it on the paper and then we're going to lift it immediately. So place it down on the paper and then lift it up and look what you have created. If you said a dot, you're correct. You created a dot. 
there's a famous artist named Paul Clay who said that creating a line was like taking a dot for a walk. And that's what we're going to do. Place your marker back on that dot and start moving it around. I've started with curvy lines. I want you to make nice big shapes. So don't make a whole bunch of tiny ones or you're going to spend a lot of time trying to fill all those lines in with different shapes and patterns. There's a vertical line I've created. Now I'm going to come over with a curve here. I'm going to go straight over. I've made a horizontal line. Now I'm going to use a, zig, uh, a diagonal and then add some zigzags here. It's, uh, it's better if you run off the paper so that it creates shapes even in the corners here. So I have a big shape right here. I'm just going to use a horizontal line to divide that area up so that it, it can have more uh, patterns and, and make a better design. So that's how you start it. That's step one. Step two is to start filling in your shapes with lines. So I'll come up here and in here I'm going to make I'm going to start with some diagonal lines and to make it look really nice you'll want to keep those lines pretty close together. So I'm going to add these diagonals in here. Okay, and then now I wouldn't want to put diagonals in here too, going the same way, because then you won't say the difference between these areas. So I don't want to put in something totally different in this area, so both these will show up really well. So I'm going to put in a curve right in here. So that kind of makes those two areas very distinct. Up here, I'm going to add some zigzags, so you can really see the difference between these areas. So just try to put in really different types of lines in each one of these areas. And you just fill in each one using the five types of lines. Now if you want to, you can use color to make your, li your, your lines. And you can also use color to fill in areas where you use the black marker. So I might want to come in here and add some color in a couple of these. So that's how you do that. You just fill in all of your different areas. I'm going to leave this up here so that you can come back and pause and look at it to get you some ideas if you need it. I'm just going to put this one right over here and you can use that for ideas so and this is due next week you'll be holding these up so I can make sure that everybody has completed this okay that's it see you next week